This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Yes, and my name is Willy Kinyash, and today we want to talk about how to help as a wife without taking uh, over the leadership. And I don't know what you think about this. Uh, when you're talking about helping, and this woman, maybe she's even coming in to help financially. And uh, I thought money answered all things, including leadership. And so if I am helping this man, and he's just there, will I just sit there at the back and enjoy this man just giving us direction when well, I am the one who is helping or doing more than him? Let's talk. Now, today we are, we are talking about the energy of learning to be comfortable in a helping position. Mm -hmm. We are talking about how to maintain your formation behind the leader mm -hmm. and you being the manager of the family. Remember, this is a context of marriage. Yes. The enemies of marriage keep saying, stop asking me to change my life for men. I will not change my life because of men. Nobody is asking you to change because of men. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the institution, the arrangement of marriage and how it works. Is that he is the leader, she's the de she deputizes, and we, we categorized the kind of energy the man has as leadership, vision, and the kind of energy the wife has mm -hmm. as management, sustaining the system, assisting. Her work is not any less. Mm -hmm. These teams, the way they function together, you have seen many men who are doing well until the wife somehow left his life. Mm -hmm. And he started dwindling. Although he was the public image yes. of the family. Yeah. Her role was so stabilizing mm -hmm. to him. Yeah. That without her, she, he still continued being talented, but he started shaking. Mm -hmm. Being caught up in issues. Mm -hmm. Tripping here. Blundering there being exposed here, trapped there. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even when the man is the public image, who is known, who does the, the talking a lot of the public engagement, the stable, the safety, the anchor is the family, mm -hmm. is the wife. The person who the, holds you up, shows you the blind spots, encourages you, reads the moods, Many times I told you, even if you are the striker, she is the coach. She is outside the field. Yeah. And she can see how the game is going. Mm -hmm. When you form a perfect team, team effort with your wife, it, it will be very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You have two eyes. Ah. Extra. To see for you what you can't see because of the thick of battle. Remember the fog of war. When you engage life, the, the dynamic, the back and forth, it's very, it's blinding. You need a, you need a coach who is not kicking the ball. He's <laughs> watching the ball. So when I'm about to fall, they can see and tell me, watch out. And they're telling you where we are missing out. <laughs> what you can do, what, what is the loophole? What's the advantage? You always need a person, even if she has her own job. The action of the family development, the action of the career development, the action of what we are doing, and you, the forefront fighter, you need a person who is not in the fog of war. You are severely disadvantaged mm -hmm. when you're in the fog of war alone. Two are better than one. Yeah. When one falls can be risen. When you trip, when you feel exhausted, when you run out of energy, you need somebody to hand you a bottle of water. Yes. The athletes go with the pace setters who run for a short time to, to show you the pace you're supposed to keep. They can't run that way the whole race. They're not as strong as you. Mm -hmm. But you hire them to do the pace setting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's your partner who is showing you the pace that will work in this kind of competition. The, 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 the roles the woman is supposed to play are so critical that if you understand the, the, the arrangement, mm -hmm. you realize that everything you win, actually I was telling you the other day that, although we use the language of who is bringing in more, mm -hmm. remember telling my wife, I am not bringing any on my own, you're not bringing anything on your own, everything we're getting is a team effort, just entering through my side. But we worked for it together. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, even if you make sales on the side, I make sales on this side. You go there, you, you sign deals. 
the fact that we are drawing energy together ideas together planning the strategies together reviewing together encouraging each other together for me we are doing this thing together yes there is no my money your money mm -hmm. the very fact that without you i was not going to have the mental presence to serve that client the fact that i couldn't those, do those we may be seated here and she's not there she's not seated on the front of the camera but she helps the design the dressing the studio looks the things and the reviewing she's doing a lot of labor that is not put in front yeah what is the best way to appreciate the team member whose work whose presence is not in the spotlight is to always tell them this is an integral whole we are scoring together yeah your capitalist economy can confuse you about marriage they like saying who is the richest so they identify one name mm -hmm. not mr and mrs yet you are a couple yes mm -hmm. they pick richest a person be careful argue i'm the one who wakes up early in the be, morning be and go to work be careful with the capitalist economy even if i wake up early and go to work who's giving me where to wake up from mm -hmm. who's making sure while i'm working there Remember if the support team was removed. One day I want you to ask a coach how they would perform if the doctor didn't show up, if the nurse didn't show up, if, if that physio, those people who they are not even given camera work, <laughs> if they didn't show up. Why does the referee need a linesman? Mm -hmm. There is a kind of support you need that we capitalistic economy does not appreciate it. I don't want to be called the richest of his. Actually, I checked. Anybody who tried to call themselves the greatest ended up very badly. Be careful. <laughs> this economy likes saying the richest, the greatest of all time, the God. The God. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Anybody who tried to call themselves greatest of this, it's like life gave them another challenge to humble them. A disease, a challenge of family, mm -hmm. collapsing in this. Drugs. Yes. Nearly all <laughs> who try to, you know, people can label you. When it's people calling you and it's not in you, yeah, there's an effect. Yes. But when you put yourself, I am the mightiest prophet. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. don't call any yourself greatest in anything. Just serve. Regard it as a privilege mm -hmm. to move the world, your civilization, your generation to a better place. To add value. And when you have done that, Luke seventeen ten, when you have done all that, you say, we are unprofitable servants. We only did what was our duty to do. Our Lord gave us the formula. Don't say, oh, look at... It's not about your hard work. I merely did what I was assigned to do. Take it as your duty. And even live with some fear and doubt. Did I leave out some things undone? Did I do everything? That is always my fear, by the way. Sometimes people think you have delivered your laundry compared to what? You know them, they're comparing you with the outside. Yeah. The one who gave you the equipment knows how much you could have done. That's the one who has a score sheet. Hey, Willie, really, that show was wonderful. The one who gave you the assignment and the opportunity knows maybe you have done only 20%. Yes. The score sheet writes fail. <laughs> the one who is marking as written what? Fail. And you people say, yes, I lab. Yes. <laughs> be careful. Let your worry always be. W w Oprah Winfrey said she has interviewed all the greats of the world. And all the, the other ways. <laughs> the wise and the other ways. <laughs> she has interviewed the Beyonces, the Obamas, presidents, and prisoners. Mm. And prostitutes. And, and she said, all of them were asking me the same thing after the show, off the cameras. Did I do it right? She's asking, why would somebody like Beyonce ask, was that okay? Why would Obama say, did I do it right? <laughs> that should be your attitude. Not, you see now how good I am. <laughs> you see, I'm, even exceeded, I'm the greatest. Great people were asking, was that okay? You fans, you think, they're so sure they can't get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Then they say, you know I can get it wrong, I know. That's what they're saying, isn't it? Yes. Did I meet what, what what can I do differently next? They're humble. They're humble. Mm. 
the position of a wife requires humility and a, a hunger. Humility and a hunger. A hunger to hunger for what? To be to fulfill that mandate to the T. Let me remind you another thing. A woman who is eager to assist a great cause in raising balanced children, building a happy home, modeling family, building financial security, building a vision, affecting the generation, serving, unleashing their potential together with the husband, and raising a life, building a, a, a legendary relationship. A woman who is passionate will not marry a man because they got pregnant. Mm. Will not even give her body and risk getting tied up with the people who don't have that kind of drive. She'll be looking specifically what's your vibe. My wife told me something that was quite humbling. Mm -hmm. You know, after you marry, they start telling you one secret. That, that, that. Yes. You thought you won by your vibes. <laughs> Only to realize actually the things that made you win. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't th even think about them. Honestly, mm -hmm. you thought you came in and you swayed. You, 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 you know, you. <laughs> The energy. <laughs> that girl chose me over things that are very ridiculous. Huh? That it was not my effort. She was reading behind the scenes. Ah. While you are busy here making presentations. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Zulu? <laughs> behind the scenes. As she says, I just like the energy. She doesn't remember the lines I used. No, we memorize what mm, mm, mm. she doesn't remember none of that. She I saw focused the way the vision was in front of you, so present, I knew I'm born to help build a vision. Wow. And it was just clear. You kept referring to it. Where you're going. And when you left after the first date, she went processing. They go thinking. Actually, they make decisions when they are away. <laughs> Stop wasting time over convincing. <laughs> when, you're, when you're at the table. <laughs> just do enough and go. Away. The panel now sits <laughs> to evaluate which card after the candidate. <laughs> Don't nag. <laughs> Don't start texting impulsively. No. You actually are spoiling your chances. Yes. Show confidence. <laughs> when she went away and she's listening to all that, you know, during the interaction, you are. But after that, you're listening. How does your nervous system feel <laughs> about that person? She's saying, just like the vibe. He felt safe. And driven. Mm. A man who likes me, who is humble and who's sincere, honest. And they don't forget things you say. They mm. tell you things you say that you try to deny them. Yeah. <laughs> you you know very well they remember better than you. Part of why we discuss today is because a lot of women are being told if you are driven, you cannot function behind a man. If you have a vision, you should pursue it yourself. Remember this. The creation of a woman was a follow-up mission after the first. It became necessary after. Mm. Again, we don't generalize this to people who are not married. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. We are discussing this in the context of family. Wife became necessary because the husband was working but lonely. It was not good, him being alone. When a woman is happy, when an Eve is happy with her place, she makes Adam deliver. I told you Henry Ford was believed by two people only, his wife and Dale Carnegie. Mm -hmm. Dale Carnegie was a mighty man of that era of business. Because the wife believed him, he kept going to the garage, attempting to do a very weird thing. Yeah. That would have, been, would have led him to the psychiatric hospital. Now this man is sick. He's trying to make us a car that is not drawn by horses. So what is draws what is drawing it? It is it will make some it will tell it will move. And the guy who proposed to pass radio waves through air was actually taken to a psychiatric ward by his <laughs> friends. He said he will, will pass sound through empty space. Yeah. And it's not shouting to go across many places, but it will go. Yeah. He believed there are waves he can manipulate. Yes. <laughs> so, one, we are discussing a woman who feels part of a space in this life is to help accomplish a great mission. Deborah went to war. We are not saying these women can't fight. Mm. 
She was a mother in Israel. This is a family woman. And she went to war. Being a governor, what they call judges those days, being a governor, she still went to war. You can be a governor, you can be a president like uh, Samia in Tanzania, you can, but your position as wife is not affected by those things. Remember that. We are not saying you must diminish and live a small life. Mm -hmm. can be a very, can live a very great life. Very great life, influential in your generation, but relational, in your love life, you play behind a man. To lead that family, to manage that family, you operate together. You check, you cover the ground. If you find a woman who is passionate to cover the ground, to watch the trucks, to keep an eye, she may have a career, but I told you, in terms of managing what we are building, and I'm there, out there, and she may have a career, but her first career is always home management. Mm. It is unpaid and unappreciated. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Appreciate it with your wife. Yeah. Let her know that you acknowledge the very fact that you keep the home clean. Yes. You keep the meals coming. Mm -hmm. You keep the things arranged. <laughs> you, that part may look small, but it's very exhausting. But some men will say, I'm the one who is buying this food. If you buy it, you can buy with money. <laughs> but what about the managing of the whole home? First of all, you remember cleaning itself. If your if your woman disappeared to some place for three days, that accumulates. Yes. Dirty utensils accumulate everywhere. Mm. Even when you have equipment to help you, you come to realize that mental space. You know, I struggle. I'm, I'm cooking and I'm playing something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why tea likes spilling when you just look away one minute. Close a milk. <laughs> I don't know why it knows whether it's you. You're the one today making it. Keep spilling. This time I tried making eggs, just boiling twice. On the same. <laughs> Honestly, I place and I say now I'm attentive. I will knew. I was woken up by grenades. <laughs> Explosions <laughs> in the kitchen. So I, I started a second attempt. I said this time I will stay here. Yes. <laughs> but you see, engaging this and the other. I don't know how many things. I get other explosions. Yes. I gave up the whole endeavor. Just boiling eggs. I'm yeah. like, kind of food surely what yes. is going on <laughs> you know it's tea you know very well it's almost and you are looking but just when you are alone it, it just <laughs> <laughs> some things look small and i'm not saying there are men th that we don't have men who are good in cooking the, we have that but the arrangement of wife husband my duties to watch out for the family and fight out there for my family makes me so engaged with war with battles of life that there are some things I cannot really have enough presence to do them. Today we are discussing how to fight, sit in your place as a helper without losing your balance and taking over leadership and awareness. And the first rule is this. Even when the man is going through a rough patch, he may lose his job temporarily for a period of time. He may be down with illness. Something may happen that he's not bringing in money. Donate. Bring in do what you have to do financially without taking over the position. And this dude is just sitting there. He may, he may be sincere. It may be a sincere problem <laughs> that he just lost his job. And you have to step in and do what you have to do. It may be a, a, a disruption. Remember, you don't, you don't fill up for irresponsibility. You are filling up for disturbance, instability. If a person is avoidant, don't bother stepping in Remove them from your life. Mm -hmm. Once you see avoidance, laziness, irresponsibility, escapism, excuses, don't bother. There's, there's nothing you can build there. And you should stop adding children with them. Mm -hmm. you'll, have to, you'll have to raise them alone. Yeah. You're d digging yourself deeper. Remember many of the problems that you suffer in marriage society cannot see them so they can't validate you. Are we together? Yeah. They will not validate you. Mm -hmm. They can't say, no, we see. Some, some problems are not ex explosive. Society only, infidelity, violence, does he come home? Society is very shallow. What they can see from outside is this small. There may be disrespect. There may be absence. There may be avoidance. The problems that are causing you to want to live may be very invisible. Be very cautious. Be very careful. Pay attention. Some of these things you are the one to listen to what is going on. Do not assume more and more responsibility. So, even when you have to bring in the money for the bills, let him be the one to manage it. Let him still build, deal with the, 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 the suppliers, mm -hmm. the landlords, the whoever. It is easier to channel him the money to distribute the payments. Should we have a timeline? This man has lost his job and it is true. 
should we have a timeline because again uh, this woman might come in and you start taking over responsibilities and now this man relaxes and says ah but you can do it timeline is dependent on circumstances let the reasonable time mm. be the one you take over you are helping financially within the reasonable time in those circumstances but if somebody keeps resigning from job one lady says she was devastated how the father kept resigning jobs without notice and the mother now has to step up and do everything mm. why are you enabling that kind of behavior that's what i'm talking about remember we said not everybody <coughs> is fit for marriage don't fight for marriage when the other person is fighting against it please keep that as your background mm. really it's not worth it if you're not working on it both of you don't be tied in a dead thing called marriage and the person is doing everything to make your life difficult no. We are saying you are helping for as long as they are sincerely instabilized. <laughs> sincerely shaken. And we are friends. Remember we are communicating. You be me. Yes. Do you know that when we are we are trying to find jobs both of us it is hard to fail. <laughs> are you aware of that? <laughs> when people are sincerely trying both of them the unity itself accelerates results. True or false? True. It's when you are avoiding and you lock me out that you buy a lot of years to hang around saying you're trying this, you're trying the other. If we are thinking together, checking your side, I'm checking my side. Does it take us that long? No. no. So, don't buy these stories of it's been seven years now. If the jobs are not coming forth, you should have built a business, something else, a hustle. When people are thinking together, they have health? No. They will do something. The one who can get anything will get... Remember now we have two families <laughs> and two societies. From your side and my side. side. Uh -huh. If Willie's job has been interrupted and now a few months have gone, she's checking from my end, you are checking from your end. Even if it's not an ideal job, you'll get some things to do, isn't it? Yeah. You come up with an idea. Mm. And then you're a humble guy and you're saying, I can easily carry things with a vehicle, with something or truck. I can move while I'm looking. I'm ask for transport. You know, you are there with your, and you, are, you, you know. And people know you, you are a responsible guy. It's just a job that... So they very happily say, I can trust you. Go and move my people and tell me how much it is. Yes. You take Kimani's pickup. You're doing <laughs> transport as yes. you look for your jobs. Yes. And Kimani, guys know you're doing transport. You're, hey, guys, if you're on transport, I'm doing that as I pass time while, while I, I to fill the gap. The guys wanted to be moved. Any taxi, they will quickly reach out to you because they know they can trust you more. Mm -hmm. You're generally a guy doing other jobs. I'm not just doing this for, for the... Actually, many so far. How many times have you sent a person on a very long mission? Because you know the person is generally responsible. Yes. And you don't have to, to, to supervise. Mm -hmm. Take this grandma, take her home to Kirinyala. Yes. <laughs> Come back. Yeah. How much is that? No problem. What's that? You even feel relief that you don't, you're not dealing with Uber and no more taxi. Mm -hmm. We are trying to say when people are helping each other, both of them, then they're sincere. Even when the kind of job that you're trained for has become, like, like COVID, tourism hotel was very interrupted, and many people had to find other. Even that time when people were two of them, it was better. Yeah. It was easier. Mm -hmm. When we are looking out both, and people, when you see two, a couple that is doing the best, you even feel more motivated to help them, isn't it? Yes. When it's a couple that is united and they're doing sincerely their best to feed their family, mm -hmm. it's very glorious. Yeah. When you, when you go home and you look at support workers, and you know that those guys, that's a couple, they usually take jobs together. People tend to trust them more. Mm -hmm. You know, the wife picks the jobs, they work with the husband, the husband picks, they help each other. That unit is very attractive. Yes. It attracts more jobs. Yeah. You guys are here, you can do this, how much? Okay, go do Whenever you see people united, solutions come faster. The problem is, people split. So they're saying, I've not been with the job for so long. It's not job, it's disunity. Uh. Do not start waiting with a person who has locked you out. She keeps avoiding the idea of job and quoting excuses of babies who have already grown and gone to work, gone mm. to school. Mm -hmm. And she keeps dodging and dodging and dodging. And you, you're still buying it? No. What should I do as a man? Ultimatums. Remember we said you're going to operate marriage with conditions. Marriage is a journey. 
It's not a place to hide. Some people get lazy and they want, just want to sit. Walk both of you to a counselor or bring the counselor in. Couple counselors can move. <laughs> Sometimes when situations need, they do it in your home where you are. Yeah. Learn to make use of them. They can come to where you are when the person is reluctant. Yes. You time and say, this person is here to help us with an issue we have been trying to solve. So that we know that this marriage is moving forward or not. Always use, keep that at the back of your mind that is not mandatory. I can't die of depression and stress or be stagnated in life trying to maintain a marriage when you are not working on it yourself. We should work on it, both of us. Yes. Remember that it's not a prison. Mm. It's not a prison. Mm. The moment you energetically you pull out, attitude-wise you pull out, you leave me by your behavior, you pull out by your actions, you pull out by your attitude. What am I building? Remember that. Yeah. Those vows, those vows were promises with a condition. That for as long as we are in it together, I'm in for the rich, for the poor. But you know, if, I'm, if, if I'm in it alone, it's no longer in marriage. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Very good. Till death do us part. Not death of you. It's mm -hmm. death of the marriage. It's not just death of you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not you who dies. It's your love, your commitment that dies. You are still alive, but you're no longer here. Mm. Be careful. Don't be locked in a mental prison. Some people don't die. Their commitment dies. They start philandering out there. Who they give up? The problem is staying with a woman who doesn't want to work. She becomes obnoxious and insecure at the time because as you grow, you're interacting with other women who are progressive and modern and yes. on the move. Mm. What does work do? Work makes people confident and glow. But if you're staying at home, do you ever dress up? No. Do you feel confident and in charge? No. Do you get your own money to buy those small things? No. What happens? You dwindle, you diminish. You're just there. So these are the women who are on the go. They meet new clothes, isn't it? Yes. They meet, they achieve things. They get to see where the world is. They make better connections. So they see you on TV making a presentation with a colleague. And now she's, she's insecure because you're hanging out with the more beautiful women. Yeah. <laughs> and she refused. Yeah. To, to be doing, a, let's say she's even in the clothing industry. <laughs> When she's making those sales and she's telling you what is coming, what bell we are dealing with, and with this, she's engaged. With, that's an exciting thing for her. Yes. Even when there are losses or profits, we handle the challenge with. We, we, that's a better thing than, mm -hmm. than, than being sick because of sitting at home or gossip in the estate. Mm -hmm. Petty things. You know? And as I told you, even when there's parenting, it's better for her to put the children to school, then go to work and come early, pick, pick them. She doesn't just work for money. Even if you're providing everything, she's working for her own growth. Yeah. For her own engagement, for her own development, to engage in the world. Mm -hmm. So one is assist without taking over the position. Give him the money. Or give the ideas. Or refer him. The second thing you must do is that do not become masculine. Some people, they mistake being responsible with being masculine. They start really being fighter-like. Mm -hmm. They start being so forceful. They start being, you know, argumentative. Mm -hmm. They, they be become so defensive. A lot of people have not lived with anybody in the same house for long. So marriage brings out another life. They are not imagined. So they start being defensive. This defensiveness can make a man cow. If everything he says, you argue it, you counter it. You don't want to listen and add. You just want to attack and invalidate and compete. And you are not aware. Sometimes you just get worked up. I've heard women say, sometimes I fear my mouth when I open, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> if the kind of person who your mouth scares you, mm -hmm. what about your partner? <laughs> if you get angry and you lose yourself, get therapy, get counseling. So that you know how to teamwork, cooperate, teamwork, cooperate. And you know, it's very encouraging when you see your wife doing those things to keep you upright and in, in place. Like she realized you came home very tired, so she irons the clothes for you, prepares the shoes so that you just step out and go. You feel so supported. Mm -hmm. When she can think what is in front of you and do a few small things here and there that are thoughtful, it's very validating, very encouraging, very uplifting. So the thing we are talking about is if you have to adjust 
remain feminine remain in your place it's very it's very disturbing when you know you're letting another person you know in your life and trusting them to trust means to be okay with what you don't know mm -hmm. to believe that they will do right you're giving them it's very unsettling especially if you've been betrayed before some of the betrayals you have to hear from them and unlearn them for years be prepared for it mm -hmm. and number three this is important form a community of other happy wives wow. many people are married but their community is full <coughs> of bitter fighter like <laughs> single b uh, aggressive <laughs> women who feed you ideas about takeover you're the man form a community of happy wives who have learned to operate with a man as a leader mm. Remember, you can be President Samia Suhu, you can be Vice President Kamala Harris, you can be anything. Career-wise, we are not limiting you. Mm -hmm. You can earn in millions. In any case, I told you to make sure your wife flies to the highest. So that she can bring you her happiest self. She can bring the happiness at home. Encourage her gifts, her dreams. She will reciprocate. If I told you marry a good woman, every time you try to make her better, she reciprocates. But what is the rule here? The rule is, as long as you are flying high, you're doing your wife, the community that feeds you with ideas should also be people who are happy with marriage. Some people are bitterly married, not happily. Mm -hmm. Others are helplessly married. married. <laughs> they have no options. Mm -hmm. They're very weak. They don't have money. They can't go anywhere. Mm. They have never built themselves. Others are powerlessly married. married. Get people who are happily married. <laughs> to know how happy marriages work for women. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Wow. Are you out there? You married. You've been taking. You've been trying to help this man. The challenge we are sending your way is: Who are you working with? Are you working with people who believe in marriage? Because if you start working with women who are not happy in their marriage, that is what they will bring into your energy and you start doing things negatively. Remember, marriage is a journey and not a destiny. So keep going and keep growing together. Thank you for joining in. My name is this is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better.